here in this problem we would like to calculate what is the resultant emf of two different cells this is cell 1 emf e1 another cell of emf e2 each one having some internal resistance the cells are not ideal therefore they have some internal resistance r1 and uh, r2 then what is the effective resist effective emf when they are connected in parallel in a series there is no issue you can just add them and if the cells are same cells also even if they are in parallel then we can say resultant emf is the emf of any one only one cell the problem comes only when the two cells are different they are different cells with a different emfs then what is the total emf of this circuit is the kind of a question that's asked we can say the total current generated in this circuit is current across the first internal resistance of the first cell or in current across the internal resistance of the second cell assuming that each cell is an independent driving force and they don't entertain the current from the other cell so what's the total current is the total emf that we want to calculate the resultant by total resistance this internal resistance and this internal resistance are in parallel so in parallel we know the formula effective resistance is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 equal to emf of the first uh, current of the first one is emf of that one by resistance of that one current of the second one is using the ohms law so let us try to simplify this right so e resultant of r1 plus r2 by r1 r2 is on the other side lcm is r1 r2 so it becomes e1 r2 plus e2 r1 so these two can be cancelled so e resultant is e1 r2 e2 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 what happens if the two cells are identical if two cells are identical then even equal to e2 internal resistances are also equal and what happens to the e resultant is er and er by r plus r is 2r right so r is common e plus e is 2e by 2r this r and r and this 2 and 2 will cancel and as i told you at the beginning itself when the two identical cells are connected I will get an effect to EMF that is equal to the EMF of only one cell. This is how we can solve the problem. Before we go, let me just uh, conclude one more thing. What if, if these two cells are connected in reverse like this? So E1, R1, E2, R2. Everything is same. but here the polarities are reversed so the currents will be traveling in the opposite direction i won't be writing i equal to i1 plus i2 rather i will be writing i1 minus i2 in that case e resultant will be in the place of plus i will be getting a minus e1 r2 minus e2 r1 by r1 plus r2 this resistance will be always added up there is no negative there right this is how we can calculate the resultant emf when the cells are connected in parallel particularly when the cells are of different nature right thank you for watching